Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to Dead Cells. I have this blueprint that we just picked up. I can't look at it, but we gotta deliver this to the collectors. So let's make a move here. Uh, where are we going to go in this run? I suppose we should go to the graveyard, do the, the old sewers, the toxic sewers, fight the Watcher, AKA the conjunctivitis, <laughs> conjunctivious, and then we can go to the graveyard because I've never been to the graveyard yet, or at least not in uh, this version of the game post early access. And on the last run, we did do a tactics build, but we didn't use ranged weapons. We used a, a couple of turrets as well as some colorless equipment a really nice shield and a really nice broadsword. So why don't we try to do a tactics build focusing on ranged equipment this run. Let's see if we can make it work. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Let's heal up. I should probably just restart right now because uh, we don't get our healing flasks back, at least not all of them. So we need to be very careful about taking any damage, and I almost got freaking wrecked by one enemy. Still need to try to do the uh, rushing tactics, though. Well, there's the toxic sewer exit. Uh, there's not... Wait, there's a star on the ground. I imagine that's an uh, not an elite, but a, a scroll holding enemy we gotta go kill. Dude, absolutely. The fact that they show up on the map makes me feel a lot better about not missing them, because if I just do the entire level, run around, look at the map, I should be able to see if I've missed any. As long as I fully explored everything. So that's really good to know. Thank you, game, and game developers, for making that super easy to, to notice. We will still need some sort of uh, purple scaling items. Maybe some grenades, some like frost grenades. But if we're doing purple scaling ranged, I don't know. Maybe honestly turrets is the way to go. You know, if, if we're ranged, if we're ranged, then turrets would be a good combination because they would be able to take the aggro. They're really good at taking aggro. But maybe a run, ooh, you know what, sweet. Maybe a run will show itself to us. It'll become known. So I didn't see any of the one, two, three, four dot cell doors. So I'm gonna assume that they just don't exist here. Of course, I could have just literally missed them. I could have walked right by all four of them and been like, ooh, hey, you just don't do anything. Let's go to the toxic sewers. Old Sewers, Conjunctivius, and then after him, the Graveyard, and then after that, the Sepulchre, which, and the Sepulchre does have some, uh, some time doors on it, so we do want to rush to that point. I have two cells. One, well, one, and then let's get a Barnacle. <laughs> there we go. We got a trap. Hold on, let me pick this up. Shoots enemies who pass beneath it, so it is just a ceiling turret. It's a it's a good turret though because it has a long activation range, a well, long-ish, long enough I suppose, and we'll get some upgrading. To oh my god, that's so expensive! I guess it's a it's a bow plus one already. We'll just upgrade the uh, barnacle. Plus one hundred percent damage to a burning target, but we don't have a burning target. So eventually we'll find hopefully healing flasks. I don't know where, but. Maybe they're going to be in the double cell locked doors, you know. Good excuse to try to find those whenever you possibly can. You know, keep going tactics. I feel quite weak right now. But I guess that's just, that's the run we have. I can't go up there? I guess we'll find another way to go up there, but it's actually kind of strange that there's just, like, a place I can't get to right off the bat. You know what? Maybe I have to throw my head up there. Hey. I can't. I can't. There we go. Maybe I have to throw my head up there to get something. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll try everything. Everything I can.
My turret got him. Hopefully my turret's got him. I just broke my turret. Ah, there's a, a cell door. With a free item. I mean, at the very least, this is money. It's actually a purple scaling sword. I mean, the bow does a good amount of damage on its own. I really want to try a, maybe even like a double ranged weapon run, like two throwing daggers, because I know that that does work. We'll see. Hold up. Hold up. See this? Ah, it's just money. Bit unnecessary to grab that, but I was already over there. I made the mistake. I'm assuming that there would be something of value. Oh, don't go in the poison, you moron. Also, do not get hit by that. Please run, please run, please run. Please run, please run. No, thank you. Out of ammo. Crap. My ammo's stuck in another enemy. Hold up. <laughs> okay, we killed one enemy. <laughs> uh, I probably need to go hit that. I know how to do this. Gotta hit that rune. Yeah, there it is. Can't believe I just walked right by that. A frost grenade. Um. I don't know, the wolf trap is actually quite nice. Keep the wolf trap for now. I wonder, if if I didn't open that one cell door, would that icon on the map still exist? That would also be nice to have kind of the game tell you where the... Uh, where the doors are that you need. Um, so I can't, I can't kill anything here, unfortunately, because my arrows are stuck in the weak enemies that were summoned. You know, that's that's something that I can do. I can bounce. Okay, he's dead. <gasps> Got a golden arrow. Assassin's Jack, we don't want that. Yeah, I can, I can already tell this run is Probably not gonna work all too well, at least for right now. Oh my god. I have to try to recover a little bit of HP. Because I just took a butt ton of damage. So we're gonna use another healing flask. I think that's my second one. The damn grenade hit me. Maybe I should get a sword right now. You know, I can always get a uh, ranged weapon later. Yo, get away from me. Well, these are both red scaling, so unfortunately that's not gonna work. I don't know. I don't know. This run feels very weak, but then again, the sewers are kind of a little bit more difficult than your normal locations. I really need to get the uh, faster recharge on my skills, I think. Or maybe just get like two turrets. Do a similar build like we had last time. Four dot door. Or maybe just get a better bow. With extra ammo. I wouldn't mind getting rid of the shield either. I know they are, they're coming back to me, don't worry. I guess if you roll, you don't get poisoned. That's what I want to take from that. Oh, there's my scroll. I've been looking for scrolls in all the wrong places, apparently. Unfortunately, it's more HP. I would prefer. Maybe something but different. You know what? Shoot him a little bit. There's the ramparts. We don't want the ramparts exit. 
We have a couple minutes left. Actually, wait, there's no time doors in the uh, the toxic sewers. We can just run as fast as we can through that place if we want. So yeah, let's um take a little bit more time here, I think. Look around. Make sure we're not forgetting anything. Oh. I like the shield better. <laughs> I wanted to get a couple of kills. I mean, I'm running by most every enemy here. Dude, double ceiling turret. Let's go. It's gonna suck, <laughs> I feel. It's actually gonna be really good against Conjunctivius. I'm just gonna keep calling him Conjunctivitis, because I think that's better. These are actually really good at dealing with him, so. Might just keep these ceiling turrets for the time being. Hey, second boss stem cell door. With a cursed chest. Holy cow. Um, we can do it. There's plenty of enemies here. As long as we don't get poisoned, we should be fine. I have two ceiling turrets and a ranged weapon. Now this scale's colorless, but I don't want it. I'll take the money, I'll take the scroll, get even more tactics, which we're gonna need now. And again, since there is no... Time door. In the next zone, we'll take our time here. And don't jump in the, the frickin' poison. Except there is a secret over there. But I don't want to jump in the poison. <laughs> I don't want to jump into poison, so I'm going slow. I don't know if you heard me the first time. A grenade! Well, it's trash. So is there anything that we missed? I don't see any stars, meaning that we need to go kill any enemies, but we can backtrack a little bit and kill some things for the heck of it. Let's do that. Let's go right here. I don't see anyone down here, so let's fall a little bit. There's an elite here, I think. These are pretty slow at killing things right now, but hopefully they'll get faster as we go. Four remaining. Oh, I was not off cooldown. Now I am. Although, my ability is not being used. Oh my god, I almost just fell into it. You know what? Ceiling turret? Do my bidding. Kill these enemies. Excellent. Only gotta kill one more, and there's a dude right here that we can easily kill in four seconds. <laughs> it's gonna wait. Curse lifted! Let's get the hell out of this floor. Go to the toxic sewers, ancient sewers, whatever the sewers they're called. I should check to see if those boss doors are on the minimap before I open them next time. I'll try to remember. Forty cells, huh? That's a lot of cells. If your HP falls below 20%, a force field protects you for six seconds. That could actually be really good on highly difficult runs like this. I could see that being useful. Marks the enemy who takes plus 151 DPS for 20 seconds. Is that just like flat damage done or do you have to still hit him to take that much more DPS. I don't know. The enemy dies, the mark spreads. That could be good with a ceiling turret. Though admittedly, I have no idea. You know, tonic could also be really nice because it will heal you. So, you know, I could just unlock it to heal right now, essentially. Bonk. We can pick it up. We can heal up. We can pick it up. And we can munch it. And sell it. Just dump points into this. Okay. 
new skill. Ammo times two feels like it is going to be probably important, but no, we want efficiency first. If I'm gonna be using tactics, you pretty much need to have efficiency. And we will upgrade this bow. I guess I can't upgrade a plus plus from standard. I have to get a plus level bow and then upgrade it to plus plus, but that's fine. Shots pierce is actually really good. Reduce damage taken, plus damage to a burning target. Well, shots leave a trail of flames, plus damage to a burning target. That works. No healing. I'm hoping at some time to find some healing potions. It said that they were around. I don't know if I have to buy it from the shop in the Stilt Village. Maybe they're just going to be very rarely found in treasure chests or something. I don't know. So we do need to get to the boss and kill him before 15 minutes, I think? Actually, I, now that I think about it, I don't know if there's going to be a, uh, a time door after Conjunctivius. But there might be one in the graveyard, so we should probably rush still. Oh my freaking god! Well, that was a little r rough. I got two shot down to one HP. Technically, it would have killed me. Don't explode on me. You don't want. You don't want a part of this. I guess we got to deal with double bats too. Good lord. You're in the poison, excuse me. No, just pick it up. Freaking idiot. I'm getting tactics. Do not want to get hit by one of these guys. Out of ammo. Really do need the double ammo capacity at some point too. Okay, keep running. Actually, a little bit difficult to use these turrets effectively and kill things. I'm noticing. I mean, I want to kill Mushroom Man before I continue on. I think. Oh, there's scorpions here. I thought that they only appeared in the previous level. Freaking so many Zubats. At least I have a very uh, quick charge on these turrets now. Thank you for the pie. I should really wait on that because if I get more HP, it's going to be worth more literal healing whenever I use it. So I should always wait before picking up the, uh, the food. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, you know what? I don't want to be down here. Thank you, turrets. They do surprisingly good work. Especially if they pierce. I don't know if they do or not. Probably gonna have to uh, get down there a little bit. Explore for... Uh, more scrolls. Wanna ah, there we go. Wanna find more. I think we're gonna need a lot of HP here. Get out of there. Pie. I'm, I'm gonna go against my own advice. I'm just gonna take the pie. Saves me time. That's a good excuse, right? Saves a little bit of time. Oh, what the hell kind of a trap is this? Almost no place for me to stand. I don't remember how much I have to rush to get to the time doors. Oh, I was supposed to look at the map. I'm sorry. <laughs> I 
Sure, let's go. Yeah, I know, one hit him, I'm dead. But also, more tactics. With nine tactics, I feel a little bit more comfortable about being able to survive some enemies if we come across them. So I'm actually probably gonna just wanna backtrack a little bit. Maybe go to an area that I wanted to explore more of, like down here. I don't see any enemies, so we'll explore. Just making sure not to hit poison. These guys, we wanna kill those guys, we wanna kill him, we wanna kill, oh! Oh God! Okay, almost, almost screwed up. You know what, we're fine. Oh, God. You know what? Kill the grenades. I keep, like, not letting my cooldowns finish. I gotta let my damn cooldowns finish before I try to use my abilities. Don't teleport to me. Thank you. One more enemy remaining. One more enemy that needs to die. There might not be any more enemies up here, so we're gonna teleport uh, here. Take a look over here. Curse lifted. Heck yeah. I should just run more, you know. Oh my god damn it. The one time I don't look. <laughs> should let the turrets do more of the damage. I don't think we're gonna get the time door in the next zone. I'm I'm spending way too much time fighting enemies, it seems like. But you know what? That's okay. We'll rush it a little bit more. I'm just I'm spending a lot of time looking. I'm trying to search. Maybe I'm spending too much time searching, I don't know. Don't go into the poison! Oh my god. This is all HP that I can't get back. Stay there. Hopefully it's not 15 minutes, hopefully it's gonna be like 18 minutes or something. I have no idea. I don't really need to kill those guys, I guess. Excuse me. Nothing here. Oh, run. No, don't go down, go up. You fool. Let's go up here. Probably spending too much time on this. Oh, I can't go up there. It's gonna be this again, okay. Let's not be super forgetful this second time around. Infantry bow. The crits do much more damage. But the duplex bow, I mean, I guess it does have the same number of arrow shots. Three plus, three plus. But I can upgrade the infantry bow to do more damage. You know what? Let's do it. So I think we're almost done, or are we done? Now we're done with all of this lower area. So the exit should just be up ahead, and we should go to the conjunctivitis. Sounds like a you know, tooth and gum disease. Go to your dentist and it's like, you have conjunctivitis. Yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna hide there for a little bit. Quick bow three legendary. Plus 50% damage when you're at max HP. Critical hits deal 20% more damage. Shoots an arrow in front of you, gives you more tactics. You know what? Let's go for it. We can replace it later. Hopefully it'll be fine for us for the time being. It's a little finicky to use, I will admit, but maybe it'll be good. Easy, easy. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely taking too long. But you know, I know I'm taking too long. I know that the time doors are important. 
They give you a lot of good stuff. We should be moving faster. I can work on that. We're gonna have to kill the conjunctivitis within like two minutes. If it is an 18 minute timed door, still not entirely sure about that. Shots pierce would be nice. That's just a turret, I don't need it. Okay, dude, frickin' grenade bats, get out of here! So damn many of them! When I'm just trying to leave this freaking place, this is gonna be the exit. Long hallway. Takes a lot of time to walk through it. How freaking big is this place? Can I just say that? Oh, that's the exit. That's what we're, we're looking for here. Okay. Going down achievement. I think I just killed an enemy by hitting him with the elevator. <laughs> so that's gotta be the exit. So let's go over here, do a one last bit of searching while we have basically no time to do it, but you know, whatever. Okay. And now we'll leave. Run. Run, run. Shoot them! Shoot them! Shoot them! Get out, no, where is it? Oh, frickin', oh my god, I hate this. I hate the controls on selecting your teleporter. We don't have a lot of time to do the fight, but maybe we can kill this boss super quickly, I don't know. 17 minutes, zero seconds. I don't know what the time door is. Ah, I should have just probably gone faster. You know what, the time doors is not the important part about this run. This run is all about trying to actually get to the, the, uh, the thing, the thing, the blueprint that's gonna be in the graveyard, I assume. Record something. I'm curious what we can reforge this to, so I'm gonna check. Ooh, fire. Fire's nice. Shots pierce the first target. Poisons, critical damage. Poisons, frozen, shots pierce. Ah, oil and flames. That seems awesome. Okay. Still, I don't know how to get my healing flasks back. Hopefully after this fight, maybe? I can kill this guy with only one flask, I think. Hopefully my turrets do a good job. If I remember correctly, the turrets stick on the uh, ceilings. Oh, fuck. I screwed up. Yeah, I don't think we'll have enough time to kill these guys, but you know what? Lessons learned. Really like the oil-fire combo. Oh! Okay, I, I, I think I understand what's going on there. I'm using the uh, the bow, and while I'm using the bow, I can't dodge roll. So even though I'm, I'm trying to hit the button to dodge roll out of the way, it's not working. I guess I just need to be a little bit more careful. Oh, was not careful about that either. Yeah, this is a this is a sticky situation now. I have a I have a parry. It's hard to use effectively, but it, we could theoretically use it. Oh, dodge roll, dodge roll. Shit. I think we're just gonna die on this fight. I, I used too many potions earlier in stupid ways. We gotta go through another section without taking damage. You know what I could do is try to use the uh, the parry instead of the dodge roll to get out of the way of that when he does that attack. Ah, oh, it's a bad place for those to be. Oh, 
I should never have been hit by that one. That's just silly. Okay, watch out. Oh, good parry, good parry. Unnecessary parry, but a good parry. Oh, shit. Should have absolutely been destroyed on that one. Was not. Thank you, game. Thank you, turrets. Ooh, I guess I don't stun those when I get the parry, which is kind of strange. Careful of this attack. Okay. Yo, <laughs> we've done it. We're alive. We have no healing flasks, but we've done it, and we unlocked the curse sword, I think. And we got a tonic. Holy cow, we've got a tonic. Um... Yeah, I mean, this is reusable HP, but it only heals 140? My god, that's nothing. I'll use it here, and then I'll junk it. It, it just, it does so little. 140 HP is nothing. We want to go up to the graveyard. Because I've never been here before. On the release build of, of the game. So I don't know which enemies are going to be supposed to be here and which ones aren't. I want to know. There is a healing flask charge. Plus one. Use it. <laughs> oh, we are alive. Fantastic. Okay. What the hell are we going to do here? I guess we should go here. Think about upgrading this. I don't know what these are going to be. Maybe once we get 1,000 total points unlocked. 100% of the items found being of plus quality, we can unlock more stuff. But, dude, I don't know. This run feels awful, but I think that's because I've taken a lot of damage and we need to spend time trying to not take damage and get some more healing flasks, but not being able to recharge your flasks ever. Good God, that's hard. I underestimated this difficulty coming in here, I think. Nah, they're not gonna... They are gonna pull that trick again. No. No super secret blueprint. Oh, I see. Yeah, these things have, uh, what the hell are you? Oh, yeah, I know. These, oh god. Time door, time door. One minute, 18 seconds. Yeah, it just took too long in the boss fight. We'll have to come back here later then at some point when we are successful. Legendary Twin Daggers? Should we tilt? No, double damage taken. I'd rather not take double damage when I can't even take, you know, the amount of damage I am taking. I can tell that they changed the level generation from early access, because this doesn't look like what I'm used to. Keep firing. <laughs> Hopefully they will, they will all die eventually. Oh, okay. This is just gonna be a boring, like, let all the turrets do the work sort of a run, possibly. It's possible. Oh. No! Oh, good lord. I think a uh, quick bow is probably not the right option, but it's colorless. Whoa. Please, please dodge. Not taking a lot of damage. I'm proud to report. You know what it is? I think it's that the um, these turrets. Oh, you. 
Oh, I can't get back up there to heal. We're gonna have 59 HP for this, aren't we? Uh, these turrets are not taking the aggro. That's what it is. Unlike the other runs, these turrets are not taking any of the aggro. I'm still taking the damage from the enemies because they're, they're focusing on me. It's important to realize that, I think. Ideally, a lot earlier, but this is where we are in the run right now. My shots don't actually go through that. You know, I guess the uh, the benefit of the turrets not taking any aggro is that they don't ever get destroyed. They will stay for the length of time they're supposed to stay, which is however long it's supposed to be. Looks like this is still here. Ah, oh, man, I mean, just, just gonna eat it, munch it. Hello? Oh, I guess they, they got rid of the... Uh, Teleport back. There used to be a teleport back here. Ah, here it is. Okay, let's never take damage again. <laughs> Especially not from a freaking exploding bird. Bird bat. Yeah, that's definitely what it is. It's definitely that the aggro is still on me. why it feels uh, different than that run in which we had. Oh, you can't get me. That's why it feels different than that run in which we had the... Uh... I mean, there's freaking more enemies down here. Different than the run that we had the... <laughs> yeah, can't finish my train of thought. The two turrets on. It's a pile of corpses. I don't, I don't need that. It's two scrolls. I don't need these either. <laughs> Unless they're accompanied by a chicken. Oh, I almost fell on the freaking spikes. You know what could also be really good is, uh... Mutations that are like, oh, if you parry, you get HP. If you kill an enemy, you get some HP. I don't normally think too highly of those, but they might be really incredible here. Oh, oh, a super secret blueprint. We gotta get it. This is the most important thing ever. I don't care if I win the run, as long as I can get some, more, you know, more blueprints to unlock. And it's a freaking shovel, too. And it's a rare blueprint. Now, I know we could move forward. Jesus. You know what? Just wait a split second. I know we could just push forward a little bit. Use the key, try to get to the exit. And you know what? Honestly, it's probably not a bad idea. We haven't taken any damage in a while. There's a scroll over here, you know, that's worth it. <laughs> Enemies are invincible to damage. Oh, we're back up to 97 HP. You mother piece of garbage. I didn't even see you. Okay, we're back up to 466 HP. And we don't need, I guess, this extra one-up. Would've been nice not to use it there, but I did get a little bit surprised. It's okay. Take your time. Oh God. Thank you for piercing. Maybe it didn't pierce. Oh! Ah! 
With enough time, I can get a kill on something. It takes a little while, though. Uh, this must be um, Stem Cells Plus giving us this guy. Frickin' jerk. Unfortunately, I can't cheese bosses like this, keeping them at arm's length. I don't want to go to the Forgotten Sepulcher like this. We're gonna have to. Damn Inquisitors, man. Freaking worst, man. A little bit more. Do your jobs. Kill. I like that they float. If there's no ceiling, they'll just go up a little bit and then float. <laughs> what is this? So there's actually two doors that we can unlock. Uh, there's that earlier door and then there's this door. Let's... Oh! Architect's key. No, okay, we have to actually get a, a different key. Okay, good to know. I don't know where it is. Don't even have the foggiest of ideas. That's okay. One day, we'll unlock all of the secrets this game has to offer. Until then, let's not die to an Inquisitor. Although I think now with the amount of HP I have, I might go down to one HP when I take... Oh, fuck. <laughs> when I take more damage. The answer is no, I do not go down to one HP whenever I take damage, okay. But still, we made it to the graveyard at least. We need to go faster if we want the time door, which I think would have definitely helped there. Um, but geez, have, not having any heals does suck. But I did take a lot of damage unnecessarily, even on this level, this kind of prequel level here. Where is this? Prisoner's Quarters. I took a bit of damage and ended up uh, having to use a heal here, which was not not good. Um, so I think we'll try again next time. Same path, I think. I do want to go and actually fight the Watcher, go to the graveyard, get some more blueprints, maybe even some shovels. Shovels is supposedly pretty good. Uh, and we'll try to get the extra time doors that I missed out on. Either way, though, that was a pretty good run. Uh, the ceiling turrets are not as good as the regular turrets, because the regular turrets take aggro, and it actually is kind of nice. It breaks the shots of the Inquisitor. The ceiling turrets do not do that. I think on that specific boss fight, Conjunctivius, it is good to have the ceiling turrets, because they, uh, they're easier to hit the boss with, but the tentacles are more difficult to hit, so it's a bit of a trade-off. I think there is a heavy turret in the game that might be ideal for large targets like bosses and stuff, but I have no idea, really. So we will try again next time. Again, same path. Hopefully we can get some more timed doors and not take as much stupid dam damage against enemies like grenades. Those grenade bats really did a number on me. And maybe we'll go back and try a brutality build instead of another tactics build, because that tactics build did not work as well as the one prior to that. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Dead Cells.